Hi everyone, um, I'm currently at work and I am super super busy so I thought I would take a break and do a video, make a video. I haven't made a video in a while and I really really do want to make uh, videos more regularly but anyway in this video I wanted to share with you my new work bag and then maybe also take you through what's in it because I mean it's the only kind of video that I can make here in the office. So. Um, this is my new bag. This is the um, Sac de Jour from Saint Laurent uh, in the toasted brown color, I think. Um, so this is actually my second um, Sac de Jour. Uh, I do have the 48 hour Daffo as well in black. And yeah, this is the large thin one, which comes with like a separator in the middle, uh, which I guess I can show you a little bit later as well, once I empty the stuff. Uh, the contents of the bag. So I suppose I'm just gonna jump right into it. The first thing I have is my wallet. So this is just like a Celine, like a slim card holder, I guess. Then I have my glasses. So I actually just got these glasses. These are new, um, but these are actually just like blue light um, glasses. I do wear daily contacts, but because I sit in front of the computer all the time, I started wearing them. Um, of course, I have my phone. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Max Pro. That one. Anyway. Um, I've got a pouch. This is from Eagle Creek and it just has like dongles for like HDMI and extra chargers, USB-C, that kind of thing. Um, so that if I need to like go out for meetings and do presentations, I can. Um, I've got my key holder thing. This is from Louis Vuitton um, and in it I just have my car keys and my house keys and this little thing that I still use. Probably the only one who still uses these things. Um, and then I have a pair of sunglasses. These are from Gentle Monsters also and these are just the black plain ones. I think these are the Rudies. Yeah, these are the Rudies and they just look like that really really cool um, next I've got my business card holder from Mont Blanc and it just opens up and got my business card next I have a sandwich so my wife makes me a sandwich every day actually I think this is a bagel like a ham bagel and I have a sandwich toaster in my office so I eat that then I have AirPods, which are super super important because you never know when you just need them um, And then on the other side I have another phone. This is like an old phone of mine I just like to have it um, And then I've got a sanitizer that I got from Trader Joe's And then in the middle compartment, so that's basically the bag. It's suede on the inside. So it's really cool. You have this um, leather and then canvas material kind of separator divider that you can actually detach which is pretty cool because then you can actually I guess use it on its own if you wanted to um, yeah I don't know why it's like why anyway um, and inside this I just have a spare mask I have a bunch of tea yeah just different types of tea that I like to Great. Sorry, it just fell. Um, I've got some band-aids, my work phone, got some medication, a pen, uh, earbuds. I haven't used these in ages, I forgot what it's called. Um, and then I've got a perfume thing from Diptyque. And then I've got uh, spares of my daily contacts. And lastly, I have like a little welly triple antibiotic um, antibiotic uh, ointment because I like injured my foot somehow or something. I oh no, I peeled skin off my foot and it's like started bleeding and I think it got infected. So yeah, but that is ultimately everything that is in my bag. Um, previous to this, um, I actually had the. The, the, um, 
the bag that I was using previous to this is the Lueve Goya um, backpack, which is really cool also. Um, I'll insert a photo of it here um, so you can see. But yeah, I thought I wanted to change and I really, I really, really love uh, the Sac du Jour range. And although it's not really something that I guess is popular or it's not like a trendy type of bag, I, I do think it's a classic and something that will last, you know, for years to come. And I also really want the, wanted the black one, but then when I saw this color, I just have a thing for brown. Um, and I thought because I have the black one, that would have been really nice. And initially I also wanted the ones with the silver hardware, but the only ones available were, were um, the ones with brass hardware. So um, I may still have to get um, the black one with the silver hardware that's exactly the same as this. Um, just because I feel somehow that it might be a bit m less formal, um, even though, from what I understand, brown is considered a little less formal than black, but I don't know, this bag just looks a bit formal, but um, I really like the pebbled leather and I love how slouchy it is, and yeah. So that is it. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Yeah, it's really nice. I just smells nice it looks nice and yeah i just and i think the older you kind of the older it gets the better it will be and the better it will feel so yeah highly recommend uh let me know if you want me to do like a further kind of in-depth review although i suppose i kind of covered most of the things um it's not that heavy um but you know it's really up to you um what you consider heavy i guess it's subjective but um I don't see too many reviews or any reviews really for the Sac du Jour, particularly for men. So um, let me know if you want me to do a comparison between this and the other one that I have, which I use primarily for traveling. And yeah, I will see you in my next video, hopefully, which is probably going to be in like another few months, several months or like a year from now. <laughs> see you guys.